Okay, Love Rock, you finish your first season, Hairspray City Islanders. Going into it, and now that you've completed the, the, your rookie year, did you meet your expectations? Um, I mean, going into it, when I first signed, the coach did tell me that, uh, you know, you have to wait for your chance. And um, for me, I, then I set myself, I said I wanted to play in my hair, so every day of training, throughout preseason, you know, I was working hard put in my name in his mind to say all right he, he has the ability to play if I need him so uh, once the Charlotte game happened and I scored you know I kept my place ever since then and for me my my main goal was to, to get in the team you know I couldn't spend this I'm 23 I couldn't spend a season on the bench you know I'm old enough to and I believe in my ability to say okay I'm good enough I want to become a star in this team and I'm happy that I accomplished my goal what did you learn about yourself over the course of the season that you will take back for preseason and looking to re claim that spot once again? Um, for me, uh, naturally, I feel like I'm a leader, and that's what they notice. You know, on the field, I'm communicating. As even as a young rookie, I'm saying, "All right, organizing and this out to my players," and they respected it. I remember one time in training; it was about two months in, and the veteran keeper has been there for years. He's been at my last in Sweden and things like that. And he came to me and he said, um, "I was talking, but not as much." And he said, "Look, you, you earned your spot. These guys respect you. Become a leader." And ever since then, you know, I haven't looked back. But for me, I have I think I have a lot of things to improve on. You know, I want to go to the next level. I have some interest to do that, and I just need to fine tune my game become a leader next season, be that man that they look to to win games and organize and keep clean sheets and that's my goal for next season as well. Obviously you, you had seen and heard about the Harrisburg City Islands and the league that you played in, but what, what was the biggest challenge for you um, being in that new environment, uh, a big place? Um, probably homesickness. I mean I've been away for a while but you always miss home, miss my mom. But in all honesty, it was uh, getting used to that every day you have to put in your work. You can't go to training. You can't slack. You can't say, oh, I don't feel like training today. The coach even said, like, if you don't feel like you're going to put in 100% today, tell me. You sit out. You do something else. So having that expectation of every day hustling, doing your hard work, putting in. Because everyone's fighting for a spot. Once I got my spot, uh, the other veteran Santa back that I somewhat pushed out, he was working out. He was pushing. So he was pushing me to keep my spot. And so I think the hardest thing is just remain in focus. And to be honest, uh, at the beginning of the season, I wasn't getting yellow cards. But I started getting a little frustrated, you know, with the team. We started losing games and, you know, losing games we shouldn't have lost and conceding late goals. And I was letting my frustration out. And I feel like when that happened, my game started to decrease a bit. I started getting, you know, yellow cards and then I got suspended, got a red card. So for me... Having that concentration, having that maturity to look at yourself and say, you know what, you have to stay focused because the other players are looking at you. They need you. It's not about you. You know, remain concentrated and focused throughout the whole the whole time, whole season. So you you head back very soon. Uh, you're doing some work here while you're in the off season, but the work doesn't stop. What do you take back for yourself to really make your stake your claim um, and and make sure that your the, the, the new players who will be in your shoes a year ago, now they'll be in your shoes, they get the message that it's okay to be nervous, but you have to persevere. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, I'm putting in that work now because I want to go back fit. I want to go back stronger than ever. Like I said, I want to play a higher level. But like you said, the new players, now I have to take that responsibility. I can't look to the other players. I want to take that responsibility to new players and say, okay, I get them, I welcome them to the team, and then I let them know, you look, we're competitive, we want to win the championship. You know, we just missed out on the playoffs, unfortunately, by one point. Uh, but I have to take that leadership and say, you know what? If you want to come to this team, you have to you have to be strong mentally. You have to be ready. But I don't want to be rude to them and, and discourage them because I was them, you know? And the team welcomed me when I was there. So I want to do the same, but I want to set the tone and say, you know what? I want to be in front of the pack when we're doing our running. I want to be, you know, that, that leader and have that communication and, and keeping guys going. So for me, I just want to, I want to become that, that leader, you know. I want to get in the coaches here that I could be that captain material. That's my goal. All right, well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, I'm going to head back soon.